Greetings from the Algoma University Alumni and Advancement Department. Over the past few years, our university has undergone significant transformation. Whether studying in Sault Ste. Marie, Brampton, or Timmins, the valuable financial contributions of our donors have helped support our growing student body as they pursue their academic goals. While we are sharing just a few examples of the valuable awards that have been distributed this year, we have created this video to recognize and thank all of the generous donors who support our scholarship and bursary programs. Thanks once again to all, and we look forward to future celebrations when we can collectively celebrate together. Hello, thank you so much for being part of the 28th Annual Algoma University Student Awards. It's a pleasure to welcome all of our donors to this celebration. A celebration of academic excellence made possible through your generosity and your giving nature. These financial awards and your continued generosity provide students with the opportunity to accomplish their academic goals, dreams and plans for the future. I know firsthand that without your support, many of these students celebrating today would have faced extreme hardship. Your donations make a huge difference in the lives of these university students. It is not easy to balance all of the competing pressures that university students face as they work through their studies. When we support them financially, we remove barriers that get in the way of focusing, studying and balancing life with study. I know you are making a difference in the lives of our students. I see proof of this every day and I thank you for caring, for giving. Thank you, merci, chimingwech. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Ted Nolan, a former president of the Ted Nolan Foundation, and I'm really here to, to congratulate all the, uh, all the winners of all the scholarships, not only just the Rose Nolan Memorial Scholarships, but all the scholarships that are, that are being presented. I think it's a, it's a wonderful way to acknowledge all your hard work, and uh, for us to be a part of that is, is special for, for us. And, and my mother Rose was a very inspirational woman to, woman to me. And, and I think like all mothers, to all of us, it's, it's, a, it's very uh, rewarding for the Ted Nolan Foundation to be a part of the Algoma University uh, scholarship uh, um, family. And I'm just really, par I'm really, really proud to be a part of it. And congratulations to all the winners and uh, uh, continued your good success in, in studies and, and looking forward to your contribution to, to make this world a better place. Hello, Annie, bonjour. It's my distinct pleasure to take the opportunity to recognize the diligence, persistence, and achievement of our students during the 2022 Student Awards event. Over the years, I've seen many of you enter the university, initially with hesitation and uncertainty, and later watched you developing and flourishing into confident and determined undergrads, tenacious and spirited in your paths towards academic success and personal well-being. I am honored to be presenting the Maria Francella Scholarship in Psychology and Social Work Award in recognition of the late Maria Francella, a former student of mine at what was then called Algoma University College. Maria was a thoughtful and kind soul with an infectious spirit, determined to make a significant difference in this world. Maria Francella was a dedicated elementary school teacher in our local school board for 15 years. She had a deep-seated commitment to teaching, learning, and community. Maria's essence, her perspective about living and learning, inspired her work in education. She recognized that the environment within which we learn ultimately shapes who we are and who we eventually become. While Maria's life was tragically cut short in 2019, her unwavering commitment to providing educational opportunities for the next generation of students remains steadfast in perpetuity. Her legacy will continue. And in honor and memory of Maria Francella, two very generous annual scholarship awards have been established for students majoring in psychology as well as social work. It is my distinct privilege to congratulate this year Maria Francella Award recipients, Amber Goslow and Carrie Lynn Smale. Hi, my name is Sandy Bunting, and I'm a member of the Sault Ste. Marie Professional Firefighters Association, Local 529. On behalf of our association, 
I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the individuals who have been selected to be this year's Algoma University Student Awards recipients. In this day and age, it can seem more difficult than ever to achieve what we set out to accomplish. You should be very proud of not only continuing your education, but of excelling to the point where your efforts are recognized here. Thank you to the award recipients and to all the students attending Algoma University for being an inspiration to us all in the pursuit of making ourselves and our world a better place through education. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Brady Irwin. A few years ago, our family and friends created a bursary in my father's name, the Ronald A. Irwin Student Leadership Bursary, aimed to help student leaders who are in financial need. Like many students, my father started with very little, but over the years, he achieved great success in public life. Mayor, Member of Parliament, Cabinet Minister, Ambassador, one step at a time, always helped by the people around him. Algoma University scholarships and bursaries are helping the next generation of leaders. We would like to congratulate all the student recipients and recognize their hard work and determination, especially during the pandemic. Just before he died in 2020, my father spoke to city council. He shared a piece of advice that he got from his own mother, who was a quadriplegic at the time. Put your head down and keep going straight ahead. I promise you, you'll get there. Whether you're an entrance, returning or graduating student, we wish you all the best with your post-secondary education and career. I want to congratulate all award recipients. This is a time to celebrate your academic and personal achievements. Each of you has a different and important story to tell on how you got to this place and time. I'm sure each of you can share quite a different recipe for your academic achievements. I would imagine that you might also share some similar ingredients to your success. For example, I suspect that you've set personal or academic goals that have given rise to your determination to succeed. And perhaps you've had the presence of an individual or group of people in your life that inspired you to pursue your academic dreams. To this, I encourage you to set new goals that will get you to where you want to go and seek out role models and individuals that will inspire you along the way. My sincere congratulations to you and I wish you continued success.